Hey guys, I'm Ryu Dan. And I'm Otaku Ken. Man, you sound sick. I've been sick for the past three weeks, actually. You don't understand. The, uh, the day after the last random talks, I saw him at my job, and he sounded like a chain smoker. <laughs> I've been smoking for 30 years. It wouldn't surprise me. That one, I, my voice is not as bad as he was. Oh, yeah. You were <coughs> you were really hoarse last week. Oh, yeah. Coughing, is, coughing really badly, too. Yeah. But we are kind of in a rush. We're in a bit of a time crunch, so... Uh, no channel update today, but let's get straight into the news. First one up, Female Thor. Let me guess. For the Marvel Cinematic? Yes. Well, there's always been a Female Thor for like the past good couple of years, I believe. Through the comics, yes. Which I was very, I, I really liked the comic. Mm, yeah. Uh, as far as I can tell, it was like, a, like an Elseworld kind of thing, wasn't it? Like, all the universe where Thor didn't get worthy and someone else took it and it was a woman. Yeah. People were surprised as heck. And she had cancer, yeah. And while she was in Thor mode, she didn't have cancer anymore. Wow. I'd like to stay in Thor mode then, please. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, it's going to be strange because Mjolnir is destroyed. No, it's not. It had to go back to the past. Thor kept it. And he could have kept it. Yes, he gave it to Captain America, who took it with him back to the past. Yeah, now Thor has it again. No, he doesn't. Fast Thor does. No, he, he kept it. If you look, if I'm not mistaken, when you see old Captain America, Mjolnir's near him. I had to look at the movie again then, because the only thing I saw was him giving Falcon the shield. I could have swore Mjolnir was right next to him. Anyways, yes, we're very excited to see Phase 4 of uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, I actually can't wait until uh, the next uh, Doctor Strange movie. And then we're going to see Iron Man Rise from the Dead. That 30 movies later. That wouldn't surprise <laughs> me, and it would be a completely different actor. Probably would, yeah. Because <laughs> clone. Well, Robert Downey Jr. doesn't want to do it no more. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, probably just a clone. <laughs> They've done it before. Yeah, next. Next on the list, Team Rocket and Pokemon Go. Now... I was kind of surprised. I completely missed it when they had that little quick little soft launch the other day. Uh, they, they apparently did not give a lot of them out. It was basically a test run before. Oh, okay. The, the, the conversation I had earlier with you then, because I heard that they kind of that uh, Team Rocket kind of disappeared. It must have been from yesterday then with the soft run. Yeah, yeah. They disappeared. There wasn't any Team Rocket yesterday, and then today they appeared out of nowhere, and there was a lot of them. I found three of them this morning. <laughs> Got two, uh, two Bulbasaur and a Squirtle. Mm, nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited <laughs> to see what they're going to do with this. Same here, because it looks like it's how uh, that one Pokemon game the, for the GameCube. Uh, Coliseum and Gale of Darkness, yes. Gale of Darkness was the main one with the, uh, with the Shadow Pokemon, wasn't it? Both of them had it. Oh, okay. Coliseum came first, though. Okay. But I think uh, Gale of Darkness really built more around it. But then again, I've only played Gale of Darkness. Never played Coliseum. Nah, you're missing out. I know I am. I didn't. Hey, I didn't grow up with video games like you did. I had three other siblings. You had one. Fair, fair. Uh, hopefully, I can get something out. Uh, hopefully, sometime in the weekend, I can go around find the Team Rocket members and uh, make them go blast off. They're tough. I'm not gonna lie. Really? Yes. Well, then again, Shadow Pokemon are some of the strongest Pokemon out there. True. All right, next. <coughs> Give me. So, apparently, the sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> now, sneezes are everywhere. You gotta be careful, and you gotta make sure to cover your mouth. Hand, the vampire, or shirt, which I like to use most of all. Now, they're on to the real list. <laughs> Goodbye, Francis. So, an OG YouTuber, Boogie2988, also uh, known as Angry... Uh, he was... A, if you saw his first videos, he was a very angry gamer guy. Everybody thought it was real, but it was... It a was, character named yeah. Francis. Yeah, he uh, was a funny guy. Yeah. Uh, the skits were of Francis. Uh, his... Uh, the person... Uh, his uh, would be There would be his sister, who was actually his now ex-wife, uh, would be in it, and a whole bunch of other things. Well, with YouTube's algorithm changing constantly, and he can't monetize his Francis videos anymore because they're considered hate speech... Uh, he just decided to retire the character. and I mean, Boogie had a good run with Francis. Oh, yeah. I mean, to have a character... I mean, Nostalgia Critic is a good example of this. To have a character that is so loved 
and so recognizable. And Angry Video Game Nerd, too. Yeah, and Angry Video Game Nerd. But with they have, them, they have, they, a, they have their own websites as well. Yes. Uh, Francis, I mean, he's your everyday Joe. Yeah. Uh, but he also has health problems, so he can't really afford to do that sort of thing, I'm sure. Uh, but, point being, Boogie, thank you for giving us Francis. We're going to miss him. Uh, we can't wait to see what you have to do in the future. Wakanda forever. <laughs> I think I did that wrong. I think it's this way. Uh, we gotta do it the right way. Big guy forever. <laughs> we gotta make that a running thing. <laughs> why, why do we? Why? Why is it with your black shirt? You look like a penguin. <laughs> I said a penguin, not the penguin. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, funky fluffy. A Funko Fluffy. I mean, oh. he's funky as well. I would hope not. Um, I didn't say he smells funky. I think he is funky. <laughs> so Gabriel Iglesias came out with his own, got his own Funko Pop. The uh, first comedian Funko Pop of that. Yes. Uh, the original release was on his birthday. It completely failed because there were so many bots and other people trying to get into the site at one time. And it, it went ballistic. The entire site crashed down. I was one of the few people awake at 3 a.m. our time to try to get it, and it was a failure. Basically how Area 51 range is going to go. Yes. Uh, now, the other day, two, let's see, today is Thursday, so that means Tuesday, yeah, that's right, Tuesday it went on sale finally. It took me two hours. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you saw me exhausted. It took me two hours, but I got me a Funko Fluffy. Oh man, that, that, that just think about it exhausted me. The only thing you need to do is keep it in the box. You just shake it and go, shake it and go. Oh my God, yes! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna get a hard protector like I have for uh, for David Joyce Blue Ranger right here, and I'm gonna have him sign it whenever I get finally get a chance to uh, go to a show. Uh, uh, even Zero to Chaos said uh, we need to get you to a show so you can have it signed, and I agree. Yeah. Uh, is that all? That is it. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to go watch some Critical Role. I'm Taco Kent. I'm Viet Dan. Hope you had a blast. And don't forget to stay random. Peace out.